Welcome to the Hammond Power Solutions Medium Voltage Transformer Basic Training. Dry tight medium voltage transformers are voltage isolating step up or step down devices. They are called dry type ventilated transformers because air directly cools the coils and no liquid cooling is used. ANSI C84.1 2011 divides system voltages into low voltage being anything which is less than or equal to 600 volts. Medium voltage is between 600 volts and 69,000 volts. HPS medium voltage transformers are compliant with the latest energy efficient regulations per US DOE 2016 and Canadian NARCAN 2019. Medium voltage dry type transformers are available in two categories, VPI or vacuum pressure impregnation transformers and cast resin transformers. Vacuum pressure impregnation or VPI transformers are common in North America. A resin completely seals and protects the surface of the transformer and provides a strong mechanical bond for the windings. The resins have many formulations and may be epoxy, silicon, polyester, or other materials. This varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. The VPI process starts when the unit is placed in a vacuum chamber and a vacuum is applied. The vacuum dries off any moisture and keeps voids from forming in the liquid insulation. The chamber is filled with the liquid resin to cover the unit. The chamber is then pressurized while the unit remains covered to further push the resin into the transformer windings and insulation. The chamber is drained and the excess resin drips off the unit. The unit is then baked in an oven to cure the resin and this process may be repeated two or more times. Cast resin transformers are found throughout the world and are increasingly common in North America. They are typically called cast coil transformers. The casting process encapsulates the coils in a thick resin while the coils are contained in a mold. The final coils and resin will take the shape of the mold. In the cast coil process, the coils are placed in a mold including a hollow center. The assembly is then placed in a vacuum chamber. Under a vacuum, the resin is poured in to fill the molds. The coils are then cured with a baking cycle to harden the resin. The mold is not removed until the curing cycle is complete. Medium voltage transformers have many areas of use. They are commonly found as commercial step-down units, which steps down utility power for a facility. Multi-pulse transformers supply power and provide harmonic mitigation for large variable frequency drives. Solar power uses grid tie transformers to supply power from solar farms to the utility grid. Grid tie transformers match the voltage between the utility and the solar farm. They often step up the voltage. Rectifier power transformers supplies the proper voltage and isolation to rectifiers, which convert AC power to DC power. Many projects require special duty transformers such as marine, mobile, and crane duty units. HPS dry type units can be located outdoors, on drilling platforms, in network vaults, and in every location where airborne contaminants pose a risk to the electrical equipment, provided that the proper design and enclosure system is used. Medium voltage transformers are primarily used for stepping down medium voltage to a lower operating voltage for commercial, institutional, or industrial applications. In some cases, medium voltage transformers may also be used to step up or increase the voltage. Medium voltage transformers are often found in industrial facilities including petrochemical, marine, oil and gas, mining, and wastewater. Medium voltage transformers are also found in commercial installations, data centers, and renewable energy projects where they are often used to step up the voltage. HPS offers three main lines of medium voltage products. The HPS Millennium G utilizes VPI construction and is only found in 5kV class. The Millennium G uses catalog standard designs up to 1500 kVA. Switchgear close coupling is not available. This series uses the most economical construction and has a standard type 3R enclosure for indoor and outdoor use. The Millennium G has limited options and accessories similar to that of a 600 volt class transformer. The HPS Millennium E and C series also uses VPI construction. 
However, it covers a much wider voltage class from 5 kV up to 46 kV and is available in step up or step down configurations. The Type E is engineered to order while the Type C uses more standardized construction. The Millennium E and C units have a wide range of KVA sizes up to 35 MVA. Both series can be close coupled to switchgear. Both series have a wide range of optional accessories available for customization and standardization. The HPS Endura Coil E uses cast coil construction. It offers voltage classes from 5 kV up to 34.5 kV in step up or step down configurations. It is engineered to order and available up to 3 MVA. The Endura coil can be close coupled to switchgear and provides a broad range of optional accessories available for customization and protection. Thank you for completing this presentation. We hope you have found it informative.